lack of supervision as well as construction permits remains a major constraint facing the sector as a real cost factor to business, according to an assessment by the International Finance Corporation, IFC, on business licensing. Should we automate yes. the construction permit process, the licensing process, and the business registration process, we will obviously see a significant reduction in our ranking. This particular concern emerged on the sidelines of an event at which government launched the e-licensing portal within the Uganda Registration Services Bureau. It's also reported that the donor-funded reforms on the country's business licensing is now achieving a reduction in cost of compliance by over 180 billion shillings annually. So that an intended business person can do all their primary work under one roof, business licensing, application for power, telephones and water links, construction permits if need be, URA, uh, various other licenses, everything will be under one roof and it all starts with the Uganda Registration Services Bureau e-licensing portal. According to the private sector, easing of the business licensing regime through which Uganda is stated to be shouldering losses worth 726 billion shillings per year, basing on World Bank findings, is the way out. Each time a report on doing business competitiveness is produced and we are rated so low, then we don't compete for those investments with the minimum ease. The Uganda Registration Services Bureau on its part says through this new e-licensing portal, the country's major commercial districts will also be linked up as well. Establishing an integrated business registry that is reliable, legally sound, and easily accessible electronically is critical for a more competitive business conscious environment. The new e registry portal services are also intended as an online repository for all information related to the approved business licenses in Uganda. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.